G'day mate and welcome to Milky Boobs. This is actually the let's try for Sunday and or the planned let's try for Sunday and um, I tried to get this working before I went and did turmoil instead. So this was originally going to be the first one Saturday and then yeah, did turmoil instead and um, let's just say um, yeah I don't even know what to say. Um, it floated across my desk and I'm like, yeah, sure, what the hell. I'll give it a go. Maybe it turns out to be really, really good. After I looked up the Steam's page, after I looked at the description, but more importantly, I looked at the reviews. And basically everybody said it was horrible. But then there's half a dozen comments being like, yeah, best game ever. It's like PUBG, it just needs a battle royale. And I'm like, really? Okay, those comments have to be paid for or put in by bots. Um, and this is this is this is one of the things with Steam. Steam used to have the green light program. And games actually had to get enough votes to then be greenlit to be then available on Steam. And although the system was not perfect because there was quite a few people that worked out how to how to twist the system to, to, to their benefit. So if you wanted to get your game greenlit, you went to them, bang, they, they, they put their marketing effort behind it, it'd be greenlit guaranteed. If you didn't go with them, there's a good chance you wouldn't get greenlit. So Steam dumped that system because basically one person had too much power and they went for the current free-for-all. But with the current free-for-all, it means games like this are available on Steam. And... But I, I have, I can't even remember what this is, costs. Um, I think it's five or ten dollars. And look, it's early access 0 0.1. But you can read what's on the, on the screen. The idea is to shoot the babes with a milk gun. Okay, this is, this is, this is a 13 year old's wet dream. And then you get in the game and this is what happens. I'm permanently scrolling to the right. Yeah, spinning to the right. I, I was dead set going to review this. And all these babes are on fire. And I need to cool them down with my milk gun. And then they fall flat on the ground. And they run to me because they're hot. Like, I don't get it either. And there's some sort of hit point system, but... I think I chose the too easy mode to get hit points. Um, and therefore they don't light me on fire. But like, this this is the whole game, apart from the whole lean to the right thing. And I've looked through all the options. There's no way for me to recalibrate my mouse. Reset to the screen, nothing. This is the whole game. I, I did say, I, I tried this for 20 minutes? 30 minutes? All I end up making myself is dizzy, which is probably the exact same thing that's happening to you guys right now. Uh, um. Go on, main menu. This is this thing, you know. You click everything five times and nothing happens. And you can say, okay, it's early access, it's 0 0.01. Um, look, I haven't tried grill mode. Maybe that fixes the mouse problem. Nope. Except now, somehow, the milky babes will light me on fire. Like... I'm sure I shot you. Can't tell. I'm out of ammo. Oh. Like, if the dev was 13 years old. Oh. Okay. On fire women. Not hot women. On fire women. Definitely. Oh options and there's a b mode as well controls 
What's this? Uh, P, take a beer break. Come on. Back. Back. Hitting escape doesn't return me through the menu. That's stupid. Okay. P. Oh! I think it crashed again. Oh no, it pauses. It doesn't. So I was expecting, you know, to stop and pull out a beer. Or something insane like that. So, yeah, um, this, this is, this is the game. It's, it's horrible. It's, it's a wet, it's, it's a teenager's wet dream. Um, unfortunately, there seems for the title, it's a little bit of a lie because there's no boobs in there. There's lots of milk. Um, yeah, I don't see shit. Seems the hot babes are too much to handle. Okay, main menu, quick, done. So, that was the let's try that was going to be Saturday, and then look, I decided to record it anyway, just, just to basically complain about Steam's early access program. Um, yeah. So, that's it for today. Instead, you guys are going to get Creeper World, because I've been playing Creeper World, and I'm enjoying Creeper World, and, um... Yeah, yeah, Creeper World's actually a lot more fun than than trying to play this constantly turning right. And and like I said, control... Oh, that's graphics. I turned down all the settings as well, and I'm still getting... So it says... At the main menu, it tells you down the bottom right-hand corner. Um, mount sensitivity down. Um, that's the controls. Um, audio. Had to turn all the... Like, I, I've been in here. I, I played with all the settings. I couldn't get it to work. Um, but yeah, with, even with the graphics sitting down, I, I'm getting 40 frames per second. It's not high quality graphics. It's just really bad, bad, not optimized at all coding. And frankly, I give this game a zero out of whatever it costs. Um, even at a full release, it might score a one just on pure laughability. But look, I, 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 I think... I think it'd probably be funnier if I could shoot poo at them or something. I don't know. This this game's horrible. I quit. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy Creeper World for the rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Bye!